Hello, this is a tutorial for Midas NFX Analyst Tool. I will show you how to create this uh, FEM model inside Midas NFX and how to do a simple analysis on it. So first, let's go into the Midas NFX and create a new project. Here, select uh, inches for the system and click on OK. Now you have to uh, go in the definition of the grid and enter 1 inches. OK. Uh, click on normal view to view this panel. And now I will first use the arc uh, feature to trace two arcs. So click on arc. Uh, enter 0 for the location of the center and then enter 4, 0 and 0, 4. So it will give you your first arc. For the second one, enter 12 for the center. Then enter 4.5 and 9.5. Okay, now you have your two arcs, so click on, on Cancel, and I will use Polyline to create my model. So Polyline to be, uh, for the first location, enter 0 0.4, then 0 0.3, 7, 0, and now you see my Polyline is is drawing on the screen. Ten two uh, ten minus two, sorry. Uh, zero minus five and minus two point five zero. Now right click in the window to trace trace your polyline. Now uh, click on these two edges to close the drawing and I will uh, draw two other lines here. So select this point and this point, right click and do the same. Select these two points, right click, click on cancel. And now I would like to divide this edge uh, and, and this edge also. So I will select the intersect feature, select all the curves, and click on OK. So you see now it has been divided. And I will make some planes here. So select Make Face option. First select these five edges and click on Apply and do the same here and here. Okay, now you create your three planes. Uh, now I will use the extrude function to make a solid. So extrude, uh, select your three surfaces, select the Z direction, for the lens enter 8, and make solid. You can uh, give a name to your set, call it block, and click on OK. OK. Now next step I want to cut uh, these two uh, solid like that. So I will create a point, select the 3D tab for the point, create a 3D point, and enter directly the coordinates of the point. Zero, 6.5. Create the point here. Now to cut this, uh, select Divide Solid. Select the solid you want to cut. And for the tool surface, check the three point plane. So first, select the first point here, second here, and the point you created here. And now you can check the preview option to view how it will be cut. Now click on OK and you see 
uh, your model has input. So you can press these two solid, you don't need it. Now let's show you how to mesh this model. So to mesh the model, click on geometry, oh sorry, click on mesh, and on generate, click on 2D mesh. And here, uh, to show you how to generate better mesh, I will show you how to create gen uh, manually, or to define manually uh, the edges. So click, click on map area, and here, select manual mapped boundaries. Now you can select uh, by yourself the edges. So the all order here is very important. So in the group one, I will select this edge. In the group two, the edge here on the arc. The group three, this edge. And these two edge will be on the group four. And so let, let's show you the results. Group two, group three. And for the group four, can select these two edges. For the size, you can enter one, click on preview to view the mesh, and you see if you uh, define it manually like that, the mesh will be around the hole uh, in this direction. So it will give you better results. So now click on apply, and do the same for this edge. So you want this one, this one, group two, um, group 3 and group 4, select these two edges, select preview, okay, and click on the plot. Same for the last one, 1, 2, 3, and these two edges, preview, seems okay. Okay, now you can hide the solid and you will view uh, the 2D mesh we have created. Now what I will do is I will extrude the mesh to create 3D mesh. So for that, create, uh, click on Extrude, 2D from 3D tab. So select the first mesh in the walk tree. Uh, here for the source, uh, we won't need to use the 2D mesh after that, so you can select delete. Select the extrude direction. Um, and uh, So it's not extrude mesh, it's um, project. I will use project. So for the project mesh, select, as I said, your mesh, source, delete, select the surface to project, and the direction, and you can enter the number of division you want, so enter 8, click on preview, and click on apply. Do the same for the other sets, surface to project, direction, uh, number of division, Preview, OK. And for the last one, eight, do the preview, and click on OK. OK, I'm, I have now my 3D mesh. Now what I will do is that I will uh, apply the mirror mesh to create my full model. So here you have transform mirror. Select your three mesh sets, select your mirror plane, so here it's this plane, click on preview, apply, uh, do the same for this plane, select all your mesh, select your mirror plane, and click on preview, and do a last time the same thing, select plane, Apply, preview, and click on OK. Now uh, I have a lot of mesh sets, so I will just merge all these mesh sets together. So use Shift and click at the same time to select all the mesh sets. 
and click on merge to merge it together to one model. Now you just have your model. So you can uh, hide the geometry. And now I will apply the boundary condition. Uh, but first I have to assign property to the mesh. So go into property, select this mesh and click on modify. Then I will just use the alloy steel material which is defined by default and I will click on OK. Now I can define my uh, boundary condition. So go on static heat analysis, click on constraints. Uh, then select the nodes here and pin them. Okay. And I will apply now a pressure. So click on pressure. And for the type of mesh you have to select 3D element face. Now select these faces. You can verify the selection has been done. And uh, for the value, I will apply an uniform pressure, minus 100, uh, and click on OK. Now you just have to launch the analysis. Right click linear static and solve. Save it. And now you see I have my results. So this is the total displacement. You can view the form shape and the other form shape and the animation. And the most interesting is the form is a stress. So you can view where the stress is happening. And uh, you can view where the maximum stress is. So here it's on this side of your model. So maybe this side will need more reinforcement. And you can use uh, the clipping plane if you want to view what is going inside uh, your model. You can do it on this direction also. can also use the ISO surface view where the stress is most important. So in this case it's around the poles. Okay. This was a tutorial for my last NFX analyst mode. Thank you very much for watching.